Well, this is my review of this 5D Carbon I ordered from Amazon. Uh, it's gonna be a fairly long review because I also reviewed the Vivid Forge Carbon. Not the 2020 version, but the one before. Uh, the reason I made this video because it's hard to find the carbon videos on YouTube and most of it just product shots never zoomed in to see how nice this product is so I actually wrapped my carbon fiber hood just a more of an extension you can tell that on the right side is the original carbon on the left side is the 5D carbon. Under the sunlight, it barely can tell the differences. It's a smaller pattern, but lines out fairly good. I would say uh, it's inexpensive, easy to work with. The trick is you have to remove the top clear. There's a protector overlay uh, laminator. Otherwise, it keeps splitting. It's harder to um, wrap with it so at least that's my experience you can try your way and uh, my way once it this thing heats up everything start to split open so I just remove the clear uh, piece on top the protective film so this is a detailed look detailed shot of it lines are fairly good on the right side is real carbon left is the it's not the real carbon so the front even the front bumper, I wrap with it. Looks really good, I would say. For something $30, I mean, even anything on the market. Uh, the printed carbon, this almost not look like it's printed. I've seen printed carbon before, they... I don't know, they look like the, the hydro, hydro dip carbon. But this doesn't, this looks literally... 3D. They call it 5D, so it's the fifth version of the 3D carbon. It's very real. Um, and it, the, the lights even shine, look like there's different layers. The, the, the piece of Python is actually fairly thick. On the top of the front bumper is the wrap. The front part of the hood is wrapped. The back where the fan is, where it shows the glass, that's the real carbon. So everything in this is real carbon. So I'm going to do a few different versions of the extension towards the front. That's about five different versions of it. I put on my Instagram and have my uh, friends and followers to vote. So number one uh, actually has the third place, this particular version. And number two is basically extension of the front, uh, number one. So fairly simple. I like this one the most, I would say. It looks a lot like a Enzo. Um, this one got the most vote. Number four, because it's fairly classic, just a carbon hood look. Uh, this is the extension of number four, number five. Uh, it's got a second amount of bolts. We'll move on to number three. Number three is by um, Alenka Wrapping. They have this style. They wrap a little bit of a front fender, leave the carbon, and uh, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wrap just a little bit of a fender and a little bit of a front bumper and take out the white vinyl of the carbon fiber hood create this uh, full carbon look and this one gets the second amount of bolt which I might try this shows the way I'm going to cut out this large sheet of vinyl so with the pattern correctly expressed the weave I have to cut this way so this will be for the front for the option 3 front bumper those are the two side pieces I will just remove the white piece on the current carbon hood and four and five 
also correct for the carbon weave that will go option for uh, go on the hood and the front bumper as one piece that later on can cut it and option one would just be that strip of forged carbon and one and two one large strip that's a five feet so I can do a a pretty good job all the way from the hood down to the front bumper now we move on to this uh, vivid forged carbon vinyl it looks pretty good uh, the patterns is a little smaller than I expected so this is the weave of the hood going this direction so I have to cut it this way okay five by five one feet that way Just, yeah a little tricky a little tricky Today we're going to review this Amazon ordered. Uh, I'm not sure how to say this. V, Vi, Vi, V, I, Vi, D. Black Forge Carbon Vinyl. It is a 1.49 feet by 5 feet long. Um, the reason I got this is because I couldn't find any information on the internet. So, this I people try to wrap this thing. Or uh, the manufacturer default picture so I ordered this I'm going to review this and I will use this on my car first thing I, I'm curious about is the texture so if I can allow the camera to look at the texture look like a somewhat of a brush finish uh, it's not very big not a big blotch so we got this let's measure it just a little bit see how big the texture is I say this piece is about uh, half inch. Okay, so let's keep going. It's about half inch. The smaller piece, like this ones, they're very small. They're like, let's see, nice 64, which is, let's find one we can use, like a quarter inch or something. close okay that's a quarter inch so a quarter inch scale so it's not as big as I was expecting it could be twice as big I was expecting for the forged carbon piece at least on Lamborghinis and other real pieces they're about this big and blotch open some sounds this big sounds this big this is like 10 times smaller well maybe not 10 times five times smaller so let's keep going and okay, that is the texture so I was gonna use a razor blade to open the the, the the packaging, but it was fairly easy too. And it does feel 3D feel. I just can hear this. Okay, it's almost like a wallpaper. If you go to old people's home or a nice hotel, you feel the wallpaper on the wall. That's what it feels like. It feels like a wallpaper. Okay almost identical to a wallpaper just a uh, with a carbon forged carbon feel to it so on Amazon this was not that expensive for 1.5 feet by 4 well, by 5 feet for what I need to use um, there's a, they come with a free 1 foot long uh, 6 inches 1.5 I need 1.5 because my hood has a stripe which is 1.5 a little less than 1.5 so I got this one it's about 20 30 dollars I'll post I'll put the image on right now. Okay. So let me unroll this. Under the light actually looks really cool. But again, it looks like a leopard skin wallpaper in real life. I mean, than anything else, it's it's really if someone tells me this is a forged carbon on their car, I would say, uh no, this is not. And it looks more like a wallpaper, like a scratch up wallpaper, some type of texture for wallpaper. You can pass as a forged carbon. I, I won't really say this is forged carbon. The forged carbon has multi different colors, like light gray, gray, you know, all different colors. This literally only had one single color. If we if we look that on without lights on, uh, this camera looks really different in reality. Let's see if I go this way. Okay, if we look at this way, 
this entire thing only has one color. On, only reason you see this different uh, blotches of um, grayness, they're just, they just shine from lights, from the different grain directions. But in the end, this is literally just one color. There's no different color in this. It's just different shininess um, created this effect. So if you're looking for something stealth, okay, single color with scratchy mark all over it, and look like Ford Carbon, this will be your guy. I think I might be able to use this because this will go well with my carbon fiber hood as an accent. But if you have Ford Carbon pieces, this will not look right because this only have a single color. Without light, this will just be a solid black. With the light, you see different shades. And this is the pattern of shading. Again, those are just reflections. They're literally just one single color. Okay. It looks really cool, I must say, but like... I'm not even sure this camera can do its justice. It literally looked like one single black wallpaper. Like people put on the bathroom and stuff, or bedroom. It was kind of a stretch from the bathroom to bedroom, but something like a black leopard skin, one single color. Let me see if I can illustrate this is literally one single. Okay, right here. At this point, because we're looking at a side angle, everything that disappeared, that's just one single color. You see, without light, with lights on, I have the light shining from that direction. It looks very vibrant, okay? So, you can wrap this with your cars, so it could be a black car with some kind of pattern. So let's see how often this repeats itself. Let's just, that's about two feet, okay? And we'll tilt up a little bit so we can see the pattern easier. And still not, see how single color it is? Um, maybe this way. Okay, it is repeating. So I'm not sure you guys can see this. There's one line here, one line here, one line here. So about, I would say, oh, I have this, I don't need to measure it. So it's about, no oh, smaller than that. Okay, it's about this much. So there's one solid strip pattern, and there's another solid strip pattern here, and there's whatever in between. So the pattern repeats itself this much. And, how, and what is that? It's about four, four, four and a half inches, four inches. It repeats itself. Okay. Yeah. Now this pattern just repeating. So you see if I can illustrate this easier. Okay, let's just look at this one. You see that? And it repeats again right here. The same shape right here. So, yeah, so if you wrap the, your car, you will see that line. But if you some, wrap something smaller, you might not see this thing repeat. Okay, it is noticeable. It is noticeable um, on a larger piece. And this is very really expensive um, vinyl. So I'm not sure many people will wrap their car with this particular vinyl because how expensive this is. Just do a final B-roll run of this pattern. Different lights. And shading. And this is not a 2020 version. They have a new version, doesn't look like this. They actually have different colors, more of a like camel. This is more of a texture piece. Uh, it's very hard to find. They come in small pieces. So if you do want to order this particular one, you may be out of luck because I don't think they produce this very anymore or it's on back order. Okay. And the back, let me show the back. So the back look like this. Okay. Very cool. Oh, and thickness. Um, I can express this because I will be using it. I don't want to screw it up. Okay, so it does breathe. You see all those dots? The air bubble can't escape through those things. And the thickness is a 
compared to other vinyls, uh, the the uh, the every Denison vinyl. I'm not sure what series it is. Um, 1980 series. Um, this is slightly thinner than that one, but it's thicker than average vinyl. My hood is using the every Denison. It's a little really thick, and this is in between on normal cheap vinyl and the very thick one. So you guys can look up the spec, but it does feel uh, meaty, have a very nice feel to it. Um, not sure you can wax on top. I, you probably don't want to put wax on this because all the tiny grains, the second you put the wax on this, I think it's over because there's thousands and thousands of little 3D forms um, it will embed in this thing. You might be able to clear coat it using ceramic coat. Not sure about the average wax. It looks really good. Option one and two, three, three, four and five. Oh, cut. After I cut this into size, um, see if I can fit back into one two. That'll be great. And it does. Cheers. Follow up and see the next video for installation and results. Thanks for watching.